Hey guys, it's Penguin Mila, and today we're going to be doing Cherry Garcia. I know this is my first drawing, but I didn't make a video for the first one because I didn't think about videos until after I drew this picture. And so I wanted to show you guys this one before I released my cookie dough video. And that one's actually really short, um, but it's still fun to watch, and the um, music is definitely pretty interesting. And so anyway, for this drawing, uh, it was my first one, so I really wanted to experiment with how to implement ice cream into a person's personality. And so I did the uh, waffle cone headband, uh, the skin tone, I wanted it to be a lot pinker, a lot redder than what a normal human would have. Uh, the blush is definitely way more intense, but still really cool, and then the eyes were a lot of fun. Um, it's when I first started doing the no pupils, because I really wanted to see what my drawings would look like if I didn't struggle with giving them pupils. And then for the eyebrows, I thought it was really cool, nice and choppy, because uh, you get those chocolate bits in the ice cream, and it's definitely uh, an interesting aspect of the ice cream I feel like whenever I look at it you always find the chocolate to be different for different brands of the ice cream and then um, the eyes I still wanted it to have a lot of uh, the ice cream personality so I did the pinky cherry kind of color and then for the hair I didn't want it to be pink with black I wanted it to be black with pink just so that there was still more variation and to make her pop out a lot more and this hair is basically my reference for any other hair that I do because uh, I've been watching a lot of other artists on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I've just been cherry picking basically about what I like their styles and try to implement it into mine. And this hair is definitely one of the greatest things that I've been able to accomplish with my art style because I have struggled with hair for so long. Like, I used to be that cringy person in middle school who had that kind of like rough sheet looking hair in the drawings and then this, just being able to add the texture and the layers that I can in Procreate with the hair is just so amazing. It's another reason why I love using Procreate. And then for the dress, I just had so fun making it because it actually kind of reminded me of a ladybug, but I was trying to get the red of like an actual like maraschino cherry. And the dress was still so much fun to make. I uh, used a reference for this one, but at the same time I also gave it my own twist. And then for the waffle cones, that was really fun because I had made a profile picture for my fiance, or was in the process of making one, and his username, uh, I'll has waffles in it and so I tried to make a waffle person and uh, he didn't really like that so I moved it to something else but still the experience of making the waffles helped me with the waffle cones and then I did the cherry background and I messed with a lot of filters on that and it was just so much fun to actually make the cherries and just the whole process in general was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like the look of Cherry Garcia and I hope you see all the other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!